Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago and welcome back to Cooking with Nona. So we are back in Nona's Brooklyn basement kitchen today for a very special episode. And Nona, say hello everybody. Hello everybody, I'm Nona Romana. Tonight I come because I gotta make spaghetti all. Because <gasps> Rosella, when she's a girl, anytime they ask for me, no, no, you gotta make a spaghetti all. And I make it for her. Ma, I but said, I wanted the one in the can when I was little. Yeah, she won the, 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 the can. But for me, I said, no, I gotta make myself for you. I don't make, a, you know, I don't buy a can. And I make. <laughs> so tonight I gotta show the way they make me. They so make guys, me if you're Italian American mm -hmm. and you grew up uh, a little bit more Italian than you were American, and uh, you got to watch all your American little friends eating spaghettios out of a can, you know, when you're little, it looks exciting, it looks exotic, and you want to try it too. But the problem was, Nona was not having any of that. And she looked at it, and she was like, no, I know how to make this. I, I got it. It's some anelletti pasta with some little meatballs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. And we're going to do it today in a way better way uh, than they make in a can. Trust me. It's so, so good. And it's such Italian-American comfort food to me. So we're going to, of course, start with some little mini meatballs. Then we're going to make a delicious tomato and basil sauce. And then we're going to just marry it all together. And it's going to be one big bowl of my Italian-American childhood. So I can't wait to get started with the meatballs. We got to make meatballs. Sure. <laughs> I started now. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here for our meatballs? Okay, first put eggs. Okay. First we got some eggs. Yeah. We got three eggs. kinds of meat. Three kinds of meat. We got veal, pork, and beef over yeah. here. But you could use any, any combination that you like. Even throw a little sausage in there. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You put uh, bread. Bread. We got some cheese. This is some parmigiano. And this parmigiano cheese. Now, I got to put uh, some garlic. Some garlic. Always some garlic. Yeah, I love garlic. Yes. And we got some basil this time. Mm -hmm. You can do also parsley or mint is really delicious, but this is a nice tomato and basil. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut it up real small. Okay. Now, parsley is probably what you're used to seeing in meatballs, but I just think that the basil gives such a nice, fresh taste to it. It's not for everybody. It's a little bit out of the box. Sometimes Nona gets crazy and puts basil in her meatballs. You can put pasta the way you want. Yeah, this is a nice, uh, nice a change. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we got to mix. So we got to get our hands dirty, right? Yeah. I got to mix it for you. Don't worry. Okay. So really, you could do this with a spoon, but there's nothing like your hands for making meatballs. I feel like they taste better when you make them with your hands. It's just a thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, the beauty of this dish is that we're going to make the meatballs nice and small. Right, Nonna? Yeah, sure. A lot of people, they don't want to do a pulpit, you know, a meatball uh, real uh, small uh, because they, they make a lot of work. But for me, I like uh, make it smaller. I love it. It's so cute. Yeah, they look nice. I put this plate over here. Yeah. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way mm -hmm. so we can make our meatballs. How do you think? We mix okay? Yeah, very good. Okay, now we gotta make a meatball. Mm -hmm. I gotta help you, okay? Yeah, sure. How do you think? Like that? Okay. Hmm? That's so nice. Mm. You think you're gonna be able to tell the meatballs I make and the meatballs okay. Nana makes? Because Nana's just better at everything than me. What are you gonna do? Hello, you see, almost finished. When you do alone, you take a lot of time. When somebody, they up me, you know, they up you, you know, <laughs> don't take too much time. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make, see? So now that our meatballs Finish. are done, I'm going to take them over to the stove and we're going to start our sauce and we're going to cook our aneletti. Very good. 
Okay, so we are getting ready to make our sauce for our spaghettios and meatballs. And I'm just going to do a really, really simple tomato, basil, garlic sauce that Nana always used to do. And then we're going to cook the meatballs directly in the sauce. So let's get started with some extra virgin olive oil. We're going to get this nice and hot. Now remember, for the full recipe and a complete list of ingredients, just head uh, to cookingwithnona.com. There's a link, and you can find the entire recipe written out there. So I'm just going to wait for my oil to get hot. I'm just going to put this on a medium flame. And I'm going to add my garlic. Okay, so our garlic is nice and fragrant, and it's just beginning to turn nice and golden brown just on the edges, and I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato paste. So this is my favorite tomato paste. This is available in La Bottega because it's absolutely my favorite one. I love that it's in a tube because there's no waste. You could just put the cap back on. And tomato paste is really just a tomato sauce or passata with all, most of the water removed out. So it just gives a deeper, a nice deep tomato flavor. I'm going to put about half this tube in here. And this is just going to help thicken up our sauce a little, little bit. You know what? I think it needs a little bit more. I think I was a little cheap. It's like a paint tube. Beautiful. That smells so good already. And now I'm going to add our passata. So passata is just uh, pureed tomatoes, strained, no seeds, no skin, no nothing. I love using passata in things like this because I love it to be nice and velvety and smooth. You know, I like canned crushed tomatoes, but I'm not as big of a fan of the chunk factor, if you must know. I like my sauces nice and smooth. And you know what? If I don't rinse this uh, jar out, Norman's going to have a problem. So, one sec. Not too much, you know, just about two inches bottom of the jar. Give it a good shake. There you go. So now I have my heat on high and I'm just going to bring this to a quick boil. And once it's boiling, I'm going to add my meatballs to it. So I'm just going to add some salt. Nana always yells at me because I like it salty. And I'm also going to add some fresh basil. Uh, Italian Italians are going to be all like, you got to add the basil at the end, you know, with like the, without the flame. But you know what? This is how I do it. So relax. Because I like it to cook, to really cook through. And I think that the reason that they say that is because in Italy, the basil is actually just a lot more fragrant than it is here in America. Facts. Um, so you actually do kind of have to cook it longer in things to really get the essence of the basil. In Italy, the basil is so uh, pungent, <laughs> that is so uh, aromatic that uh, you just drop it in the sauce, take it out, and stuff tastes like basil. I don't know. So once this is boiling, I'm going to add in all my little meatballs. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's always good when one kind of breaks and kind of incorporates itself into the sauce, I think. But 
What do I know? So once this boils again, I'm just going to lower it to a simmer and I'm going to let it chill for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then that'll ensure that our little meatballs are totally cooked and we can cook our pasta and mix it all together. Now I'm going to let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to cook our pasta when this has about 10 minutes to go. Okay, so now I'm going to cook our pasta. These are anelletti. They are also available in our online shop. And this is a Sicilian pasta that comes in this ring shape. It's actually very typical of Sicilian cooking to make baked anelletti with bechamel with a lot of different kinds of ways. I love them. I mean, they're spaghettios essentially. So we're going to let these cook and then we're going to mix it all together. Okay, so now I'm ready to start mixing my anelletti into the sauce with the meatballs. I'm going to turn this off. I have this scooper. This thing is my best friend. This is so much easier than draining pasta, guys, honestly. And I'm going to raise the heat a little bit here because it's on low, low, low. And these are still a little bit al dente, but that's fine because I want the last minute or so of cooking to happen with the sauce. Okay, and now that spaghetti o magic is happening. Look at this. Who needs a can, right? When you got this baby right here. This looks so, so, so good. I can't wait to taste it. I feel like a kid again just looking at this. And there you go, guys. This is done. So I can't wait to show Nonna and ask her how I did. I'm sure she's going to love this too because, like, who wouldn't? It's got everything. It's got tiny meatballs. It's got fun rings of pasta. Fun for kids, fun for adults, fun for everybody. I'm going to turn this off. And we're going to feed Nonna now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nana, are you hungry? Yeah. Oh, they look good. Okay, let's eat, oh, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this looks so, so good. It's enough for you? Yeah, I put a little more. A little more, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a hungry today? Look at those little meatballs. They cooked up perfectly. I love how this isn't like soupy at all. Really absorbed all the sauce. It kind of looks the same texture as the one in the can. I hate to say it, but that's what I was going for for my childhood dream dish here. Oh my God, I cannot wait to eat this. Oh, I'm gonna put some cheese. Me too, I like. You gotta put some cheese, you know? Yeah, I put about the fork. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Mm. So good, huh? It is so, so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good. So, so, so good. I mean, I really mm -hmm. didn't need to have the one in the can, guys. Because, I mean, who could... It, no can could compare to this. It was just, you know, the mystique of feeling like I was like my friends, but... I really am like the luckiest person in the world to have Nona that can make me <laughs> such amazing things and teach me. And now I'm teaching you guys. Mm. It's really good. So I'm so glad that we all learned how to make this today. This is such a great dish for kids. I think it's so fun to make that, to make it with them, to roll the little meatballs with them, get them in the kitchen, and get them to help you. Nona, you really like this, huh? Oh well, yeah, I love that. Since you like it so much. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, let's toast first. Salute. Oh, alla salute. Alla salute, because I have a surprise for you. Oh yeah. I got you something. I got you a present. 
Mm. I got you a can of SpaghettiOs. Mm. I don't want that. Why? I like this one. <laughs> you don't want. You're never going to taste this ever? No. Why? I don't like. How do you know you don't like? You never tasted it. Yeah, because um, I don't eat the stuff in the can. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess my present did not work out, guys. You, you really don't want this? No, get out of here. All right. All right, mm -hmm. that's the end of that. Okay. <laughs> Nona, thank you for being my Nona today and every day. Guys, we will see you next thank time you. on Cooking with Nona. Say ciao, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs>